And joining us right now for all the market impacts is Jason Trennert. He's the chairman and CEO of Strategus Research Partners, which is a Baird company. Uh, Jason, the futures for the Dow now down by about 220 points on these head headlines, which can really uh, give you whipsaw reactions to some of these things. How, how do you handle this as an investor today? Well, listen, I think, uh, Becky, I think in December we, we talked about Omicron and the Fed. And I, at the time, I said uh, the Fed worried me more than Omicron. And I would say now uh, the Fed and inflation worry me more about uh, the situation in Russia and the Ukraine. And it, it's not to diminish it. It's just that, uh, in my opinion, what's happening in the markets generally over the last couple of weeks or since the start of the year is that there's a general sense that the, the era of free money is over. And, and that changes everything, uh, it seems to me. Um, a conflict between Russia and Ukraine, I know nothing about it. I, it, it seemed safe to say that it would be a bad development uh, if you're a consumer for oil prices. Uh, but I also think there are other issues that are keeping oil prices higher longer. I, ultimately, my view is that you want to be careful. You want to uh, gravitate towards quality in this environment for a long time. I think us snapping back to the types of markets that we had over the last couple of years uh, is unlikely. Let's focus on the Fed angle of this, the inflation and the Fed. Um, you're right, the era of free money is over. Um, and I don't think anybody would argue that, but we have not seen extreme reactions in the market. Sure, you've got Treasury yields higher, uh, significantly higher, the 10 year above 2% for the first time. Um, you've seen some wobbling, but you're still talking about the major averages not that far off of their all time highs in most cases. That's um, Becky. That's that's all fair. I, I think the 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 one thing that is sometimes maybe not appreciated is just that even though the Fed funds futures markets are uh, are uh, factoring in or pricing in Fed tightening, um, the Fed is still buying securities. Fed yeah. is still easing. The size of the balance mm -hmm. sheet is still increasing, and so I don't think any of us really know what the real risk free rate is, and we won't know uh, until the Fed steps away from the table. And that might not be until April. Uh, it won't be after uh, until after the Fed starts increasing rates. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that's the biggest risk in, in the market is uh, I, I think most people are somewhat bearish on bonds. But if you press them, they'll say, well, you know, maybe rates could go to two and a quarter or two, two and a half. And my view is if inf if CPI is seven and a half, the, the risk isn't that they that 10 year Treasury yields go to two and a half. You know, the, the risk is that they go to three, three and a half. They go to something that really changes uh, the mixture. And, and again, we're not going to know that until the Fed steps out of the picture.